Oh. Here's a quick update on the meat birds. I know it's been a couple of weeks, but I've been busy trying to get some plants in the ground and everything, and uh, fighting the rainstorms and all that. But as you can see, I moved them into some new accommodations, and uh, so they can move around a little bit, and they're they're definitely growing there. Uh, that guy there is probably about the size of a frying chicken. Oh, there, little guy. Oh, yeah, see now about uh, about now they're getting really big and they can uh, just pretty much walk around a few steps and then they lay down and rest. Uh, and you can see their poop machines. I've been throwing shavings and uh, some fresh hay on there down in the bed every day, but they just I just can't keep up. So I'll tell you by the time by the time they're uh, ready to go, you, you're just about tired of uh, raising these things. And then you don't you don't feel like eating one after a couple weeks after you do the deed, but you can see there's for size comparison there's one of our barred rock hens. She's kind of sitting down too, but true to form she's about one third or maybe even one quarter the size of the meat birds. And there's our mystery chick back there. Let's see if we can get a come on sit still. I have. No idea what kind of chicken that is. I haven't really looked, but if anybody could tell me, I'd appreciate it. But it's a, it's a beauty, and the tail feathers are growing kind of long, so I have a feeling it might be a boy. At which point, I don't know, I'm going to have to figure out what to do, because I can't have Soupy and another rooster. One is enough. There eating about two of these trays per day of uh, grower finisher feed and uh, it's adding up to about two bags a week now so it's starting to get pretty expensive and they're gonna have to finish up size up a bit so I can uh, take care of them and get a good yield for the money hey you guys are hungry again I'll get you more food I also threw a whole bunch of uh, plantain uh, weeds greens in there and they ate it right up and I also throw some grass clip clippings in there after I after I cut the grass and they take care of it all they're figuring it out so that's it hoping to uh, get back with you next week take care everybody bye